Okay, we are now assembling the uh, shear box and we are preparing the sample. Uh, the box has been rinsed, reassembled. The screws that are holding this all together are down nice and tight. We are going to back off a little bit on the gliding screws and make sure that this is appropriately tight. And we're now ready to load the sand. Oh, that was quite a ways up there. Okay, now the purpose is to put the sand in here and loosely compact it so that we have roughly an inch of sample height, half below and half above the potential shear plane. And we will do this with this special loading instrument. The sand has been put in the shear box. Now we put the porous stone on top. And then the top of the piston. Like so. Then we move this to the instrument. We drop the shear box into position and we make sure that the right hand side of the shear box is up against the stop there and then we tighten the back end. Now we want to make sure that there is going to be enough vertical movement to do the experiment properly. So we go to the vertical control and we go to position and jog. And then we raise up the uh, frame. pushing the arrow up that keeps us going faster and we want to raise this down to about 100k okay, the lighting system tells us that the we are moving toward the upper limit for the vertical reach 100k we hit escape Now we swing the upper arm in place. You have 20 seconds. Can you do it? See here. Okay. And then we drop it down to where we are fairly close to the ball. To bring the vertical force arm, so to speak now to where we are fairly close to contact. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now the uh, little displacement sensor we need to get positioned properly. So we go to monitor, mm -hmm. debug, and then we are going to try and match these two numbers right here as closely as possible. Uh, the, the, the value should be about 30, 000, 30, yeah. About yeah, 30, 32, 33,000. That's correct. Okay. So I'm pretty close to that right now, actually. Or if I need to move it, then I can actually adjust this 
arm holding the displacement sensor up or down to the approximate position where I am at about 32,000. That is the best I can do in a quick piece of time. <laughs> is that the center of the shear box under the vertical load. And to do that, there are several steps. We need to make sure that the bolt to the left of the sensor is tightened. And we need to back off significantly on the wing nuts that are over here on the end. So there's plenty of room to move. And then we go to the horizontal centering system by going to position number two. We're going to have to move to the left to do that. So we hit one and enter. And we wait and watch until the little ball is centered. escape when we're there. It'll take a little while. Okay, I assume you see that. Okay. We're there. Okay, the next step will be escape, escape. And we're going to go to monitor, debug, debug. And we're going to check the position of the movement sensor, making sure that it is right around 30,000. Yeah, 32,000, excuse me. Okay. You don't want me to tighten. No. That's it. 